Hello everyone and welcome back to Diamond City. We are here in Home Plate and I have just totally redone the whole um, place. I scrapped everything and started fresh and I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it came out really, really cool. So we are just inside the front door to the what would be the left, the right side entrance. Um, so we've got a little utility sink right here and over here is my workshop. Um, a lot of this is modded. Uh, most of the mod that I used for this is Creative Clutter. It's on Bethesda and it's a really, really cool mod. Um, gives you creative different workbenches, um, including this right here. So you've got the workbench table and then you snap to it the armor workbench and the weapons workbench right there. And then it gives you some other clutter just to put things so that your your place looks lived in and used. So I thought that was really neat. And same with this chemistry station. So you've got your base table and then you can snap, there's actually two chemistry stations here. So, but you can snap like there's a cooking station in there that's also usable, but I don't like doing that because it's, it's kind of rusted. So anyway, um, but yeah, this is my chemistry workbench, armor and weapons. Got my drug plants basket. And then I plan on putting all the drugs in here when I make them. Because I, I what I do for money is I make a lot of jet or bleeding bear traps. And then I use that as currency instead of caps. So, you know, that's a little pro tip in case you don't have a lot of money. But you can get a lot of plastic and fertilizer and make a lot of jet. Become a drug dealer. Um, or you can also store them in here. Um, this is medical storage, so you've got, you know, your stuff in there, too. Here's another shelf that just, it's, I wish this was a container, but it's not. But it just, it gives you some stuff, so it makes your, your settlement, your house look lived in and used, so. And this thing here, this is the coolest thing ever. It's an umbrella stand with weapons in it. And I usually put this in every house that I build because it's so cool. And, gosh, dog meat, you need some water bud um so yeah because you know you never know when you get attacked and you want melee weapons in, on hand just grab and go another little storage container with some stuff on it ammo box cabinet i'm a girl so i like pink so i put a pink motorcycle on a plant just to you know give it a little girl's touch um, I have not done it yet, however, I plan on putting power armor in here. I ha currently have two sets of power armor that are in my sanctuary home right right now. Um, I'm going to bring them over here and put them in these display cases because I don't use power armor. I really don't like using it. I feel too clunky when I'm in it. So Anyway, I've got two full sets. I'm going to put them here. Back here behind this plant. Um, is a fusion generator and it only produces one power but what I like about it is that it gives you a lot of radiant power like I have one of these setting in like the middle of sanctuary it's hidden but it has enough radiant power to power lights throughout the whole settlement you know obviously ones that don't have to be hooked to like power lines like your lamps and so stuff like that but it produces a lot of power. So this one thing, it's easily hidden. You don't have to run conduits and wires everywhere, which I can't stand. Um, that gives you all the power you need. And, you know, home plate comes with this fuse box, and it gives you 50 power anyway, so that's all the power you're really ever going to need in this place. And then, of course, the regular workbench. So another mod that I use in this video, in this build, is SOE Pack. Settlement Objects Expansion Pack, and it gives you building materials for Vault, um, the Submarine, Yangasi, I think is the name of it, USS Constitution, Institute, and Glass. So, and with that, you're able to use walls. Now, of course, it doesn't quite go up to the, the top there, but it's good enough because I wanted to partition off the living area from the workshop area. So, um, that's what we've done. Put a cool Nuka Cola sign there. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, this is my workshop here in Home Plate. I think it came out really, really cool. I'm gonna show you up here. I made a bathroom. Um, there's a YouTuber. Her name is Lucy Jane Plays, and she does Fallout 76 videos. But I stole this idea from you, Lucy, using the electrical conduit as a shower because it kind of looks like a shower to me. 
So that's what I've used, and I hope you're not mad at me because I think it's, it's a brilliant idea when you have a super small space and can't fit the regular shower in here. I think this is a great alternative. And I put the glass wall up because that's a good partition, you know, from the toilet. And of course, you know, you've got your sink here. So there's that. And then up here on this area is the perfect space for a laundry room. So, you know, even in the Commonwealth, you gotta have clean clothes. Don't like to walk around in dirty clothes. So here we go. That's that. And this, this, um, I just realized that's floating. <laughs> Um, this is a storage container too, so you can put like your extra armor and whatever clothes in there. And that's the workshop and bathroom area. Now I'm going to show you the living quarters that I've built here on the other side of this wall. We've got my office area, which I think came out really nice, really neat. We've got the 70s rug down here. Just I just wanted to give it a little bit of color so everything's not so drab. And of course, you know, American Pride, Minutemen Pride. Got my desk here. Um, you know, a shelf here for whatever, and a little landing dish for keys and what have you. Got a, a wet bar right here with some flamingos. I thought that was just kind of a neat touch. Um, right here, I got a fish tank because, you know, after a long day of going out in the Commonwealth and killing death claws and super mutants and raiders and gunners and mercs and all that crap. It's nice to come home to a, a relaxing fish tank. You can see them swimming in there. You can see that. It's pretty cool. Anyhow, got the living room area over here and I've got the same rug down here on the floor and with a nice cozy fireplace. Um, I think it looks really, really nice. Got your contemporary furniture, mid-century modern. Um, the one thing that I wish I could do, even with my scrap everything mod, I still can't get the debris up off the floor. So that kind of looks a little dumpy, but I guess we're just going to have to deal with it, right? Got a little lamp up here. We've got these cool um, um, lights that came with, um, oh gosh, what's it called? It's one of the mods from the Creation Club, actually, where you get like the mid-century modern furniture and these really cool deco lights. Um, not that we look up too much here, but it just lights up the area really well. And again, without running conduits and power lines everywhere, that radiant generator has powered all of this. So it's really, really cool. I like the plants on both sides just makes it look cozy and comfy. Got a seating area over here because I didn't know what else to do with this space so I just put a seating area. Usually I have the radio on but be I didn't want YouTube to get me for copyright infringement so I turned it off. I have to have the noise though. I can't stand the silence even in real life. I have to have noise. Um, but this is also part mid-century storage con console. Um, it, I like it. It looks good in just about any space. And I've got some books. This is from... Uh, that's another mod. I can't remember the name of the mod. But anyway. But I think this is a really nice seating area. I should put like the ottoman right there. I have to think I'm gonna... Pardon me for a minute. Um, so low poly's furniture pack has lots of really nice pre-war furniture. Whoops, that's not the right one. Um, so I've got snappy builds, creative clutter, elven blossoms items. It might be under here. She gives you all the bathroom stuff. Some beds. No, that's not this one. Anyway, I'll do that later. Um, MSO Menu is another really good mod that I use, and then HZS, you won't really see it in here, but this is where I got this bed from. It's really, really nice. Um, I'll show you how it works in a minute. You've got, oh, is it here? Wait, oh, here it is. There, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Anyway, 
So those are just some of the mods that I used for this build. Save it real quick. Some of this, I use these in all my builds. Um, um, this bed right here is just beautiful. I love this bed. It's pretty and it's feminine. And you know, I play as Nora, so I really want to have something that looks nice. And I love butterflies in real life anyway, so um, with this mod, you get what you do is you put down the bed frame and then you put a topper on it so whatever covers you choose to pick you know to put on here but it still doesn't count as a bed what you have to do is you there's like invisible pillows so this is a player only pillow so I believe if this works the way I think it is this prevents settlers from sleeping in your bed because it's player only and I've got the left and the right sides so um, and then here's a little another storage container got the rad roach on the wall just I just put this here to fill that space so I got the Nuka Cola pack from the Creation Club um, and I don't remember what mod gives you these little bobblehead figurines and the Easter eggs I think it's creative clutter but I'm not sure I don't know it's there but it's pretty cool um, so yeah, and then coming over here, we've got our kitchen. I have the Slocum's Joe pack from the Creation Club that I paid for. Um, most of the mods I use are free, but I did pay for the Slocum's Joe and a mid-century modern one, and Shroud Manor, which also gives you um, some more furniture. Um, my next one is going to be the Charleston Penthouse and the Neon Penthouse Player Club, but or Player Home, but I haven't gotten those yet. It's on my to-do list. Anyway, got the bar area. This is a Slocum's Joe bar. Um, got the stocked fridge. Looks kind of beat up, but it's got food in it. And then um, this is a really cool thing. This is low poly, um, the pre-war furniture mod. I love this be because you've got, it looks like you have food in your house and you're not starving to death. So, um, and it's also a container so and then this is a crafting station for coffee and tea which I thought was really really cool so I am really happy with the way my new home plate has come out it looks really nice like if I was living in Diamond City this is how I would want to live I don't you know you go into most of the houses in this place and they're all shitty and dumpy and trash everywhere but I think this is really a functional space it's nice it's cozy and homey and with that I think I will leave you I'm gonna have a sit right here I'm gonna sit right here in my chair next to the fireplace and have me some relaxing time so enjoy thank you if you like my content hit the like and subscribe buttons I'd really appreciate it you guys have a great day thank you